Good morning. Another Linda Riker video to discuss with you today. Miss Riker is a person that saw the Lord Jesus Christ when she spent five hours in hell and three hours in heaven. The Lord told Miss Riker's family who saw her body lie on the ground for eight hours that he got tired of watching the entire church go to hell. The Lord appears to her family. They're witnesses to this event. Living witnesses who all say that this occurred. And Americans still reject the testimony of a woman who spends five hours in hell, three hours in heaven, to tell you that very few people go to heaven. She sees her mother, her grandmother, her father, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Pope John Paul II, all the famous TV preachers, all in hell. All in hell. And more than likely she sees your local preacher as well because there are many reasons, but one reason was because that your soul is already in heaven or hell, on its way to heaven or it's already in hell. It's dynamic testimony about this guy. He's opened up heaven and hell for all of us to take a look at. And unfortunately, all these Christian-loving Americans reject the testimony. My job today is to tell you that we're leaving soon. That's one of the things that he told me to tell you. But he says, yes, sir, they are laughing at Linda Riker's testimony. They're laughing at it. He, the Lord says to tell you that you can follow the testimony or you can go and, and follow the testimony, excuse me, and go to heaven, or you can not follow it and go to hell. You can laugh at it and go to hell. Many are laughing at the testimony. He wants you to know. He sees everything. He said to tell you that Israel shall be reigning. But the focus was on Linda Riker. He wants you to go back and look at a story told by a little boy who spends 90 days in heaven, I believe. I haven't seen the book since probably 2000 or so. It's been a long time since I read that book or looked at the book. But a little boy goes to heaven and he spends time with God in heaven. He sees his family there and he comes back and tells everybody and they write a book about it. Well, Linda Riker has a similar experience except she spends five hours in the pits of hell with the demons all around her, telling her about every sin that she ever committed throughout her life. And many Americans laugh and say, well, Linda Riker was not saved, so she is not like me or you or, or regular Americans. We're all saved. We go to church. We're saved. The Lord wants you to know that's the biggest lie in the church. I am saved. Unless you hear from God that you are saved and on your way to heaven, you are not saved and you are not going to heaven. You will find out when you get to hell that you didn't listen to Linda Rika and this little video that tells you that Linda Rika is telling the truth so well that all the preachers that preach his word are upset because the lie has been exposed. You can no longer tell people clothing does not matter to God. You can tell them anything you want. Let me take that back. It's like this video. I can say what I'd like to say on the video. But if you miss heaven because I tell you a lie, what do you look like? And the Lord has exposed the lie. He's told everybody through this video, through this woman's testimony, that hell is not a place to play with. Clothing makes a difference. Perfume, makeup, jewelry, pants on women, they will not go to heaven. The Lord wants you to know that heaven is his kingdom. You come his way. You do not go your own way. You come his way. You can believe Riker and go to heaven, or you can disbelieve her and go to hell. You have no choice. And as I say over and over again, unfortunately, most, most Americans reject the testimony. And you will live or you will die in hell. You will live and go to heaven or you will die in hell. Hell was terrible testimony. The testimony scared me so bad that I preach 
daily as much as I can. I try to preach in a town called Mobile, Alabama. They gave up what they had to follow him. They preach for money. I don't preach for money. I don't care about your money. I care about whether or not you go to heaven. The Lord picked Linda and Paul Riker. Who are we to tell him who to pick? There are people out there that are saying, Linda Riker is not this and Paul Riker is not this. But they're all saying things to make sure that you go to hell. They're working with the devil. You either work for God or you work for the devil. There's no in between. That's what he wants us to know. The Bible speaks for itself. The preacher lies to you for money, for fame. He gets all the glory. He sits up front in the church. He feels wonderful about himself. Everybody's, sometimes they're bowing down to him. Everybody's so happy that they know John, John Jane or whoever the preacher may be. He's so happy because he's the most wonderful person you've ever met. He or she is the most wonderful person you ever met. But the Lord knows everybody. And we either follow the Bible, Holy Bible, King James Version, 1611, word for word only, just his word only, nothing else, period. If we can't follow it that way, we're not going to heaven. If the preacher does not read the Bible to you that way, he's not going to heaven. And he's not preaching to you correctly. None of that fame or fortune that the preacher receives will get you into heaven. So the preacher looks wonderful. He's up there, he or she is up there standing in front of you, giving this, you this glorious speech about heaven and hell, what he considers it to be like if you missed it. Because they're not going to spend a lot of time talking about it. Because it gets people to the point where they will not come back to the church. If someone told you they saw a five-year-old child in hell, you would not go back to that person's church. Linda Riker comes back and tells you about children in hell. They saw everybody down there. She sees her mother, her grandmother, her father. That's enough for me to, for me to believe that not only did she see hell, but hell is the worst thing that can happen to any of us. We go to sleep, we lie down at night, we think we're going to heaven, we say a little prayer. And we think we're, worried, we're not worried about whether or not we go to heaven when we go to sleep. Then we find out when we wake up in hell that we were wrong. It's too late then. It's too late, baby, it's too late. It's just too late, period. No one wants to go to hell. You go there because you're listening to false prophets. The Bible warns throughout, especially in Matthew. Read Matthew 24. Just read it and read it and read it. Read 24.4. Take heed that no man deceive you. Matthew 22, 11 through 13. Clothing keeps a man out of heaven. It says nothing about sin. Right after 11 through 13, verse 14 says, For many are called, but few. Few means few are chosen. Everybody's trying to go to heaven. Well, I can't say that everybody's trying to go because that's why some of us go to church because we want to go to heaven. We go to church because we're trying to go to heaven. We're doing everything that we can to go to heaven. And then we find out we went to hell. We're going to hell. Now is the time, ladies and gentlemen. Can't wait. You can't put it off. Tomorrow he might be here. The next day he might be here. Tonight he might be here. Within the next few minutes he might be here. This Lord is coming back. And we have to be ready for him. And the only way to be ready for him is to take time to prepare for him. And I tell you to take time to pray and ask a living God, Lord, am I eligible for heaven? One night I prayed five hours. I practiced. Five minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. I practiced. I built up to two hours. I built up to three or four hours. I built up to five hours. And then one day I said, I need to keep going. And I kept praying. And I did not know that I prayed for 20, 10 hours. I thought I prayed for longer than that, to be honest with you. But the Lord says, Ricky, you prayed five hours one night, 10 hours the next night. I reached out and grabbed his feet during the middle of the 10 hours. Sometime during the 10 hour prayer. I can't say it was the middle of whatever it may have been. I kept praying because I did not want to miss the Lord Jesus the Christ. I want him to know that whatever it takes for me to get to heaven, 
That is what I need to do. I need to take this big nose, stick it in the ground, go around the earth 20 times, 100 times. Whatever I have to do to get to heaven, I have to do it. I use, for my personal experience, a pillow to sort of simulate what Linda Riken went through. I stuff my head into it and realize, and it's dark and you can't breathe. And that gives me somewhat of an idea of what hell was like. So when I'm praying, all I have to do is remind myself that if I'm not trying to do the right thing to get to heaven, I may not get there. So the warning from God is, follow Linda De Rica, YouTube, Facebook. Do not follow the lying, lying preacher. They are lying absolutely. They refuse to change. What's wrong with the Bible only? Word for word only, just his word, nothing else. What is wrong with that? When the warning is that unless you follow it the same way, you will not get to heaven, believing the lying preacher. I beg you, my people, pray and ask God. Thank you for your time.